Hey guys, Perry here with another Collider interview straight from Sundance, courtesy of the Kia Telluride. Huge thanks to them because we want to spread some love for some movies at Sundance that we love so much this year. And it feels weird saying I love The Lodge, but I mean, I love horror, so it makes sense. I love The Lodge. I saw it last night. You all did a fantastic job. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I want to start by talking to you two here because... I need to know, where did this idea come from? I mean, it doesn't surprise me all that much coming off of Goodnight Mommy that you would conjure up something like this, but what sparked the initial story here? Actually, the initial story is written by a Scottish screenwriter and was offered to us so by... it's not our fault. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was offered to us by, uh, by Hammer Film. And yeah, we kind of liked the, the, the story. <laughs> out of obvious reasons <laughs> uh, and yeah it, like the ending didn't work quite well when we got got the script so we kind of um, yeah we, we also kind of rewrote it can we say that I yeah, don't know <laughs> we, we made it kind of our own so it's partly yes. it's it's partly our fault yes so it was lying before <laughs> I'm so curious what that other ending would have been but we have to talk about that later I'm not gonna spoil anything and I'm actually gonna leave it to you guys as well to just explain to our viewers what the lodge is about because I don't want to go too far with that I keep getting yeah, I always give it to Riley. Oh, I keep so getting bad. this question, but so I'm not, I don't pitching. even have a great answer. <laughs> so I don't know why yeah, I have this better responsibility. Than, better than us. Um, it's about a a, a, hmm, a girl who, woman who, it's hard to believe, uh, who, who um, goes to a lodge with her boyfriend and his children and the the women and the children get left in the lodge alone and it doesn't go very well. <laughs> it's a very She's accurate a great, description. Yeah. There. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> great. Had a, I'm, I'm assuming you haven't seen Goodnight Mommy, but if you... I have. <laughs> She's I like, don't believe you right now. She's very, She's have you deep. really? She's more mature than Oh, than wow. Like. Are, you into, uh, are you into scary movies? Yeah, I love scary movies. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? The Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Probably. the most appropriate answer imaginable. So having seen Goodnight Mommy now, do you both say I'm ready to like jump into another, you know, cinematic experience of darkness like that? Are you open to things like that? Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun filming this movie. I would do The Lodge too. Wow. <laughs> maybe not. That'd I don't be know. Awesome. Don't know what that would look like, but <laughs> <laughs> More curiosities now. Um, so if you had a lot of fun doing it, I'm assuming. I, I mean, there actually are a, a bit of uh, lighter moments in the movie, specifically with the siblings, too. And uh, Jaden's not here today, but can you tell us a little bit about working with Jaden and striking up what felt like a really honest friendship and also a sibling relationship? It was so easy to get to know him. He was so, like, funny and nice from like, when we first, like, met and got to know each other. And we were, like, basically the only kids there, and we kind of filmed out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so we would hang out all the time. Was it freezing there? Very. I would assume so. Um, I also wanted to know a little bit about shooting a specific scene and if we could talk a little bit about the scene out on the ice too, because also just the complications of doing something like that. You think about the cold weather. You, you think, think about falling through the ice. Uh-oh. Uh oh Every day. <laughs> How long does something like that take to shoot, and what are the biggest challenges that come with doing a stunt like that? Uh. I mean, I don't know. I think the biggest challenge was that we always uh, had insisted on doing it like on location, because we're like, <laughs> yeah, we're like directors who try to get as many things like real as possible, because we think like making a film is hard enough. If you have to make and fake, like make everything up, fake everything, I think it's really hard to get it like uh, right. So we like actress or an actress who is afraid of the ice, actually. <laughs> You're afraid yeah. like her being scared. <laughs> For example, they would like, if I didn't, f like if we were shooting and I wasn't, if it was like after lunch or something and I wasn't like really cold, they would make me go sit, lay in the snow in the woods. <laughs> That sounds and awful. Then, <laughs> and then they would roll. The they snow? would be like, "Keep rolling," and then they'd go inside and set up the shot. And, <laughs> and I'd be like, Ugh. "This was also the perfect place to premiere a movie like this because yeah. I could feel it. I could barely feel my hands when I walked into that screening last night." And then they go up there, and I'm like, but "Wow." The thing that's really creepy about the ice, though, is you can hear this like 
tone of it existing or like crack. Sometimes you can hear cracks when you're on it, and I'm still not convinced that it's like a safe. And there thing were like, to do. it was safe, but there was like puddles sometimes. Yeah, there was it would like melt. puddles that would. There was like That's segments. It was completely <laughs> safe, but it was cracks a little bit scary. Cracks would be on the ice. So cracks. So the cool <laughs> <laughs> Super encouraging there. Um, <laughs> on a lighter note, how is it working with the dog? Actually, another question too regarding the dog. Was The Shining an influence here? Because I kept getting those vibes throughout the movie, especially with what happens towards the end. And then the dog's name is Grady. Yeah, actually, that was that was not intentional. But like we thought of it like later on, like we read it in the script, and then ah, oh, funny, that's like Grady. But um, the director of photography is like a huge fan of The Shining and actually we are preparing the lodge. We watched it like in an empty huge hotel like <laughs> <laughs> at night time and had a really good time doing it. Um, maybe it was on purpose by the Scottish screenwriter. We never asked him because he named the dog Grady. But maybe it's his kind of, it was his decision. I don't know. We have to ask him. The hotel we stayed at looked like The Shining. Mm-hmm. Sounds like my kind of the hotel. The halls were so long you could see like both directions it was you have to go sp- see the real <laughs> shining hotels that's like one heck of an experience staying there mm-hmm. um before we have to close this out we have a game at collider called would you rather normally we ask questions about making the movies but today we're doing sundance specific questions so picking between the two options and telling me why you would choose one or the other first would you rather see your movie before its big festival premiere or see it for the very first time the night it premieres neither do you not I'm like watching kidding. your stuff? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, sometimes I don't know. I uh, I don't. I find I, I I find it to be like an uncomfortable experience. I can sure. never <laughs> rewatch an interview I did. I can yeah. just share it on social so media, sure you, which is the point. Yeah. So I totally get it. <laughs> um, I feel like it's easier to do interviews once you've seen the movie. So that was like That's a little true. bit hard, but it was really exciting to see it for the first time with everyone. Yeah, I think also the midnight screening, because that's my first time doing something like that, was really fun because you have the whole the whole crowd is very reactive. So that, 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 was, that was fun. An unforgettable vibe in those rooms. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you was this question also for us? <laughs> I've got more for if you too. If there was a problem, Here, like, no, sorry. Here's one for you. Oh, no. Would you rather, would you rather test screen your movie or would you rather just go with your gut? I think it's a longer answer to that question. Right? No, I, I don't like test screenings at all, so. Yeah, but like we screen films, but not we think it's uh, easier like just for a few people. And if you have a, r- a huge room with 400 people, I think it might be really, really difficult and, and hard to see what it like, what you can take out of such a screening. So we would prefer to screen for fewer people and yeah, take what we what we think, uh, what we right. think is right. Yes. Would you rather walk around Sundance with no gloves or wet boots? No gloves. No gloves. No gloves. No gloves. <laughs> Smart move. I learned that the hard way the other day. <laughs> would you rather would you rather get to see only your most anticipated film at a festival or would you rather get five tickets but to movies that you know nothing about? Five tickets to movies I know five nothing. Five tickets. About. <laughs> five tickets. No. Oh, just the one film I just think. the one <laughs> what's the one film on your list yeah, I, I think we we're, we're, wouldn't be able to watch anything like we just watched our film and have to leave tomorrow so no film at all that's Even a sadder, yeah. that's a bummer but for anyone else that's here and wants a good midnight movie the lodge <laughs> is obviously a priority would you rather lose your luggage on the way to a film festival or catch a cold at a film festival luggage catch a cold I'm with you. Catch a cold too. <laughs> Catch a cold. I have like a severe fear of losing my luggage. Actually, he lost his luggage like. Uh <laughs> yeah, like in Los Angeles, we're three editing. Weeks. Yeah, oh three no. weeks of editing with just one T-shirt. I try. Well, I guess that's a good place to be if you lose your luggage, just in an editing suite. I yeah. tra- I traveled to Russia and lost my suitcase and didn't get it till like the day before we went back home. So oh no. I had to wear my sister's oversized clothes the whole time we were there. Oh. <laughs> It's a good thing you have a good sister there. Um, Before we close this out, I am a huge horror fan, and I love watching a movie and getting a good fleeting thrill out of it, but it's really special when you get to, well, most people wouldn't call it special, but I like to take a movie home with me, and I like when a movie like this keeps me awake at night. So from your perspective, what do you hope people go home from seeing The Lodge with? (laughs) Um, I personally went home and just kept thinking about it and, you know, thinking how creepy and everything that had to happen 
And so I guess that's what I hope for people to do. Just ponder on it. Lose countless nights of sleep over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, actually, people came up to us yesterday and they said thank you for not making us sleep tonight. So I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I felt that quite a bit as well. It's <laughs> great. Yeah, we're totally with you. I think this is the kind of movies we like to make and also to experience something that keeps your brain working. I mean, it's very hard to specifically say yes. what we want people to think because I think everyone sees his or her own movie anyway. So if it's open enough that there is something that keeps working in your brain and keeps going, I think that's the great thing and whatever that might be. I mean, that's, I think, different for each and everyone watching it. Yeah. Totally agree with that. Do you want to add anything? <laughs> um... That was beautiful, Severin. <laughs> Were you able oh, to shake you. this character off at all? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, yes, I was able to. <laughs> Good. I'm happy for yeah. you. Yeah. We sure. shot it like in the we shot it like in chronological order as far as possible, so it was quite it went quite downhill, so to speak. Yeah, it <laughs> was. That was actually really helpful. Is that it was in it shot in sequence, which is. It helpful is to my a fascinating character to track. <laughs> so I'm glad you had that opportunity. A huge congratulations thank to you. you guys. Again, you. quite the start to my midnight movies here at <laughs> Sundance. Thank you guys so much for watching this interview. As always, please like and share it. Another special shout out to Kia Telluride for making this happen. We will see you soon with more Sundance interviews. <laughs>